Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mantic Quick Tips. Um, we have had a lot of feedback so thank you very much for that. Um, we have uh, tested different angles and stuff and now we think we've got our sweet little setup. Um, so thank you very much to Matt the Video Guy for setting this all up and hopefully you can see everything. Um, so I've had a lot of questions about uh, the Holiday Hellboy because um, a lot of people have bought the uh, products that aren't necessarily uh, hobbyists um, and they just want to know how to assemble it um, and this if this is what it should look like. So this is how you should get it out of the box. Um, the little bits on the bottom of the model, that is how we cast the model itself. So they are supposed to be there, they are not a defect. What you have to do is you will have to do a bit of preparing for these. Um, so first things first, is I always recommend washing the model in warm, not hot, because if you make it too hot, you will actually bend the models. Um, so we just want to uh, to give it a little bit of a wash in the water, and this basically gets rid of any of the residue that is left on the model. So we use a mold release agent to get the mold out of the silicone without damaging them. And we're back. It's all been dried with uh, some paper towel and now we're ready to start clipping things off. So let's start with one of the hardest parts which is the base because you're going to have a nice big chunk of flash on this one. Uh, we need to get off so what we're going to do is we're going to go in. Remember to keep it aimed away from yourself and I'm actually going to aim this one down which I probably should have done in one of our last videos so that it doesn't fly across the table like that. And we will have a little tiny bit left on the bottom um, and very, very carefully, we're going to cut this off. And again, it's very, very, very important that you cut and you never file down because once you get resin into the air, it's very, very bad for you. So I would never recommend filing. And there we go, we're nice and flat. And now we're ready for the rest of it. So let's start with uh, Hellboy himself. Just hold on to the bottom of the, the flash and that will stop it from shooting across the room and also stop it putting so much stress on the actual model itself. And then we've got a little bit under the arm that we need to take off. And he's ready. We just need to go in and clean up a couple of little bits. As you will get these mold lines where the two halves of the silicone mold come together, you will get a slight line. So what you need to do is just gently scrape the surface and this is just going to cut off that mold line. You can actually get tools that can do this for you, but I'm just using the edge of a sharp blade. Just be very careful not to press too hard, otherwise you'll start damaging the model. We don't really need to worry about this section here, because um, there is a bit of a mold line there, but that is going to be covered by his arm, so we don't really need to worry about that one so much. And then we just want to tidy up the foot, because we need to stick that down to the base. And then he should sit flat. Okay, and then the next bit would be his arm. Now there's a couple of little tricky bits on this one. Um, and this is one of the ones that I missed when I was assembling mine. We just want to take off this little bit under the skull here. Again, being very, very careful. And then there's one that connects them just there. Just like that. Okay, and then we've got another one just there. Okay, and then we've got two more pieces just there. Just 
neaten that up a little bit, being very careful with your fingers. Luckily I'm using a very blunt scalpel, so. And then we're going to tidy up this little piece, it's uh, two tombstones stuck together. And you're going to have a little bit of flash there, just underneath the cross, and then another one on the other side. Now this one's a little bit hard to get to, you kind of have to go in from behind, being very careful not to put a lot of pressure on it because we don't want to snap off the, the cross part. And then there's another one just there. Okay, and we're going to tidy that up as well. just towards the bottom. Now be very careful not to cut off the tab at the bottom of this. There's that part there we need to keep because that bit's going to go into the base. So don't cut that bit off, that's supposed to be there. But we do need to clean it up a little bit so it'll fit in to the base. And then same on this one, just need to cut off that piece and this piece. Same with this one, be careful not to uh, cut off the little peg at the bottom because we need that to attach to the base. Just go in and clean up any leftover flash. Make sure the, the base of it's nice and flat because we need it to be able to go into the base itself. One final piece we have this mighty fist, a little tombstone, and then being very careful on this piece because it is very delicate is his tail. Just need to clean that up a little bit, try not to put too much pressure on it because we don't want to break the tail. And then same on this one, there's a little peg at the bottom, we need to make sure we don't cut that bit off. little peg in the back of his fist as well. And there we go, now we're ready to start assembling. Um, I'd recommend first things first is gluing Hellboy to the base. Right, and now we're ready to attach him to the base. So we need super glue for this. Um, what I'm doing is just wetting the bottom of the base where his feet's gonna go um, because there's a very cool trick with super glue. Um, that it will immediately start to react when it comes into contact with water. So we just want to make the surface a little bit damp um, and then we're aiming, you can see on the base that there is a little place for his feet to go in the middle of the base. There's a little indentation for his feet to sit and then with that he is done. Now we're going to move on to his arm. So again, we're just going to put a little bit of water in there. And then we're just going to go in, line it up. And then it just sits inside those two pegs that are in on the body. And next we're going to do his fist. And 
want to be careful with the smaller pieces because we don't want to stick our fingers to the model itself as it does tend to hurt when you pull it off and now just his tail That just goes in the back of his outfit. You can kind of position the tail where you like on this one because it will fit in a couple of different ways. Now we're just going to play match up with the shape of the tombstones into the base. And that one sits just there. They kind of go in at an angle so they lie flat. The glue on the back of it. There's that one done, which means that this one has to be the front one. Keep going on just like that. There we go, so I'm just dry fitting it to make sure it goes around the right way. And then this other long one goes this way. Hopefully it doesn't pick that up. Okay, and we've just got one more piece, I think it's around the back, just on the edge of the base. This one is a little bit fiddly, so again with the smaller pieces just be careful that you don't glue your hands to the model. And with that, our holiday Hellboy is complete. So it's it takes a little bit of work. Um, it's not overly difficult once you know how to work with resin. Um, you need to make sure that it's clean, that um, it doesn't feel greasy. Um, that's why we put it into the soapy water, which is just some washing up liquid and some tepid, almost warm water. Um, and then you dry them off and then he'll be ready for priming. Um, so thank you very much everyone for your feedback in the last couple of videos. Um, we are, have been listening and we appreciate it. Um, we're still new at this whole thing, but hopefully we'll have an amazing cool setup like this for our following videos. Um, also, if you would like to win this assembled holiday hellboy all you have to do is head over to our facebook page and pop a comment on the video i'm sure that video matt will put a link in I'll try my hardest <laughs> um and we will be back soon so thank you very much everybody um 
please like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you again very, very soon in another Mantic Quick Tips.